The story of Pinocchio boasts over 100 years of life. Today, at Galleria d'Arte Moderna in Florence, an exhibition hosts this child puppet, passed from one form of expression to another during the time, without losing its fascinating power into the eyes of children and ex-children throughout the world. Once upon a time, there was a man who sent to an editor his book entitled The Story of a Puppet. It was the 8081, and Carlo Lorenzini, a Florentine writer and journalist, was going to become famous with the name of Collodi. A year later, to the first text that ended with the hanging of Pinocchio, was published another version with the title The Adventures of Pinocchio, a real rebirth of the puppet. Didn't you dream reading this book to meet a cat and a fox, to admire the little fairy girl, or to peep into the dark belly of the great whale looking for Geppetto? Today, an exhibition at the Galleria d'Arte Moderna in Palazzo Pitti tells the evolution of this book, well known all over the world. The original drawings of the editions of Pinocchio from 8083 to the end of a century later are shown with a historical context presented by the paintings and sculptures of different artists. An exhibition that will charm people of all ages and interests with enchantment of once upon a time. At Galleria d'Arte Moderna in Florence, Eva Pratesi, C10. Yeah, yeah.